Welcome to our channel. Direction for our times, locutions, Jesus, February 2nd, 2022. And lay apostle has recorded five new locutions from our Lord. The second new locution is included here. We believe these are of great significance and specifically important for this time. Therefore, please help to circulate these messages widely. First let us pray. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Allegiance Prayer Dear God in heaven, I pledge my allegiance to you. I give you my life, my work and my heart. In turn, give me the grace of obeying your every direction to the fullest possible extent. O oh Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you the prayers, works, joys and sufferings of this day for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart, in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world, in reparation for my sins, and for the intentions of the Holy Father. Here is the message from Jesus. For many years, much of mankind has experienced material comfort. While the poor always suffer, many people have enjoyed a level of comfort unique to this time. I am pleased when humanity enjoys that which it needs to flourish. At the same time, there exists a fixation with the lives of others, as seen through continual media. Much of mankind has fallen prey to unhealthy curiosity about the details of the experiences of others, as viewed through a lens which often ignores suffering. This has caused many people to gradually lose interest in their own individual experience and ache for that which belongs to others. They become blinded to the gifts and strengths given to them for their purpose in their life. My answers have always been available. Heaven's truth is both visible and invisible. The gift of self is given to the giver. Bitterness and the withholding of love harms the withholder. A deliberate decision to harm damages the one offering those negative contributions. Consequences follow the offerings of each person and go out into the wider existence of mankind. The decision to rest fully into my love and my providence provides daily joy and happiness. How many choose this disposition? Where a few choose it together, we find charity and creativity. This is what I hope for now, in this time, charity, creativity, and relentless optimism for the future. We will prevail in this effort. But one should be prepared for a journey before one embarks upon it. A foundation of charity, creativity, and optimism provides humanity with a fixed orientation toward growth and right development. My friends, can we say that such a foundation is now developing in the world? Or do we see that the opposite of this disposition, with its secrecy and scheming, fosters division and suspicion among our human family? I do not want countries deliberately pitted against each other, nor people. But this happens now. Where will it take us? We have seen in the past how disturbance in one person can spread to extraordinary lengths. We have also seen that disturbance in one person can be managed when courageous men and women resist the easy road of protecting themselves at all costs. The truth is that I am the only one who can fully protect anyone or anything. A disturbed individual will foment division, suspicion, and the rise of ego against others, many others. A calm, righteous individual will align themselves with truth, even if they can see only a sliver of it. This requires courage, but courage is abundant amongst my true followers. Know this. I will not be used to begin war. That will not be me. A lover of my spirit will be courageous and fix their disposition toward peace. A disturbed individual will ultimately aim for the destruction of a family, a divine plan, or a country. Be ready to consult with me and not with a humanly derived ideology that restricts freedom of independent thought. Thank you for watching. Please return for more videos like this.